it's, uh, it's been a fun ride. Uh, every day is a challenge. Actually, the challenge is that you know as we grow our team and our and our people that we have here, our our base and our team gets stronger and stronger all the time. Um, that being said, is there's there's always challenges. Um, we have more ability to face those challenges and to um, conquer them, if that's the right word. Um, but more uh, after eight years, I think we have a clear, you know, defined uh, model that we want to move to. And so now our strategy is to to move in that direction. And uh, so that just new challenges, but new opportunities as well. And it's it's exciting. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. It's definitely about having the right people in place to do that. And so. We're focusing more and more of our energy on bringing the right people onto the team, training them properly from the very beginning, helping sort of nurture people into more powerful positions in the company. So, really working hard to develop our managers to also do the same with their teams, and that's already started to pay off quite a bit. Even though we've only really focused on it for the last say year. Previous to that, we were always just sort of too overwhelmed with all the day-to-day -day stuff that we had to do, and we finally made a commitment to move more of our sort of authority to other managers so that we could focus more on, on helping those managers develop the team and that's a big part of our strategy going forward because we've seen already positive results from training people more and providing more um, service really to the customers that's what we've been able to do is improve our level of service and so because that's helping growth just by itself we anticipate possibly doubling and tripling our staff every couple of years to facilitate the growth that we'll experience by investing in the people. So it's kind of a catch-22 or a integrated sort of approach that one comes with the other and it keeps building as you go. So that's really what we're focused on is building the team. You know, for the longest time, you know, we's, we didn't necessarily have a defined mission statement at this point now. You know, Dave and myself were talking here not too long ago and we said, you know, we've always said our goal is to build something bigger than ourselves and, and uh, I think that we've now decided that that is our mission statement, that it's to build something bigger than ourselves and which obviously doesn't have anything to do with furniture but the whole mission being is, you know, this it does involve more people, it does involve more than just even furniture at this point, it's to, to build people to build something bigger than, than ourselves, so. Yeah, so it's about basically empowering employees to have a better life because they're part of WFP. They obviously know that the customers have to be served well for that to happen, so the customers are in control of that. And then also giving back to the community, because what you know, business has a role in society as well, and we feel that's where we can make a contribution. And you guys have been involved in some charities around town, have you? Yeah, absolutely. We like to support local ones, definitely. So Rotary and Rotaract is sort of a lot of our local connections, even yourself, Mike. And then uh, Big Brothers and Sisters, the MS Society, so we support functions with them, and there's other small things that come along as well, but we're committed to doing more of that as we become more successful. Yeah, and, and, and then not to mention the environment and, and our role to play there, where uh, forever we've been using both sides of a piece of paper, just as a, <laughs> a simple example, just to get the most out of it, but uh, we have recycling set up. It's, it's, it's the whole package, and we're trying to just be kind of what is a, a good citizen corporate as well as with our people. Yeah. And it sounds like too is that, you know, it was almost crucial that you guys started working at your business more as opposed to in it to move you guys to these next for the next level, is that correct? From kind of just what I'm sitting and listening to you guys talk about. Yeah. That, yeah. Um, but I think a lot of businesses find that difficult to do. And and it hinders the growth and you have to make that tough decision to say, you know what, you gotta put people in the places and so it can work out the business as opposed to doing the day to day work every day yeah absolutely empower them to 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 get more out of them uh, and and for so that they better themselves as well right to step up to the challenge and say you know what i didn't know this but absolutely i can uh, i can do this myself so yeah absolutely at any rate it's it's difficult sometimes because there's a certain level of i know this and i know how it's done right and i want to do but at the end of the day you have to give some of that away. well I mean, and it's your baby like you, you guys started right from from that basement of this, right? And yeah. Um, that being said, is we, you know, I really feel we have, we only bring on intelligent, smart people that are very capable and um, it makes it easier to work with them. Let's go take a tour of the showroom.
appreciate you guys coming. It's kind of a privilege to, that you thought of us. Yeah, yeah. it's a surprise. It's, it's great. This is kind of the, you know the beta, and we're just you know we're learning as we go through too, as we're doing this. But and uh, once we get the video done, but. Um, is there anything, if people want to buy furniture or they want to know more about your company, who can they contact and where would they go? Surf? W, uh, GoWFB.ca. Um, obviously, we have GoWFB.com, but for when we're dealing in Canada here, so that is GoWFB.ca. Uh, either way, if you go to GoWFB.com, GoWFB.com and .ca, uh, you can toggle between each site. Um, um, or... And if you're local here to Kamloops, give us a call, 250-434-2337. And at that point, you can set up a time to, uh, to come and take a look at the furniture we do have on display. Excellent. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Appreciate Thank you. It. All right, so there we have another homegrown Kamloops sex story. If you and your business want to be featured on the Kamloops Business Spotlight, please contact myself, Michael Riley, Richard Kamloops. You can reach me at 250 828-6818 or Mike at Venture Calibs. Thanks for watching. We'll have another business posted for you in two weeks.